Okay, Driver Max. Because of its increased popularity, they've changed the way that users can use the free version of this program. Now, when you've downloaded and installed it, the first thing you want to do is to click on Driver Max Settings and then on the Driver Max Agent tab. Make sure this box is ticked. Automatically make sure the Driver Max Agent is started. This will run in your system tray when you boot up and it will check each day for updates. Do this until you've got all your updates and then you can untick it and maybe turn it back on once a month. Click OK. Driver downloads. Check for driver updates. Now this will scan your devices and compare with its online database and if there are newer versions it will take you to the home page. Now once you're at the home page you will get a list of the drivers installed and the version. With the green tick you've got the latest one. Here there's a host controller which needs updating and also audio controllers that need updating. So if I open this in a new tab it allows me to keep track of what I'm doing rather than going backwards and forwards between windows. Now when you open in a new tab don't just click on the first one look at them first. As you can see this is available in several languages and this one in less languages and so it goes on and choose one that has a reasonable success rate this one would be more successful than this one on installation so I'll click download driver and you then get the option to continue as a free driver max user or you can continue as a pro user Pro users, you need to buy a 30 day license, a 1 year license, or a 2 year license. As a free user, you can download 2 drivers per day. Uh, there's a daily driver update check. The drivers are downloaded from the DriverMax website, and so it goes on. You can roll back the drivers, and everything else is listed there. So if you click on there, you then have to wait 30 seconds. So whilst that's waiting, I will go on to this one, which is the host controller, and it's Unibrain, which I know from previous experience is not compatible with my system. But what I will do is, as you can see here, this one is a lot more popular than the first one. You may in some instances find that a slightly older version will work better. Uh, click on download driver again wait the 30 seconds and it will soon download now the first one is downloaded and do I want to add it to the list you just click yes and it's ready to download as you can see this one has already downloaded and you get the same with the second download again just click yes it will open it with the driver agent and it will wait to download it and it may download today it may not now this one is ready to install so make sure the box is ticked install the driver click yes and we can come out of this window and allow the installation to complete which it goes through the routine of examining the archives and then installing the driver. Now you'll get this little window asking if you're sure. Uh, click next to install it. You can create a restore point before installing the driver and also install unsigned drivers without asking for confirmation, which is quite common. Just follow the prompts, allow it to create a restore point and then install the driver. And when it's installing the driver you'll have this little window pop up usually in the lower right of your screen and it'll take a few minutes. Once the driver is installed you'll be prompted to reboot your computer after each driver installation. You can of course install 
two drivers if you've got two downloaded and reboot after installing both of them rather than individually rebooting. So I'll select no for the moment. As you can see this one has been installed. I'll close the window. Go back to driver max and you can back up your drivers to a folder file of your choice, save them externally to a flash drive or whatever. You can restore the drivers from the backup. You can get an installed drivers report and most importantly you can roll back your driver if you have a problem with it with the latest version you've installed. If you have a problem roll it back. You have the restore points you can also use. You can look at popular hardware for the best Windows Vista hardware, video cards, processors, you can compare laptops and you have your online account. Uh, you can check for driver max program updates, there aren't any. Go back to the downloads and scan for updates and this should come back as all updated apart from the bus host controller which I won't be installing because as I said it's not compatible with Vista and XP 32-bit only. It doesn't work with 64-bit machines. Now the bus host controller hasn't yet downloaded and been installed. The audio controller has been installed and it will be activated after I've rebooted. It's an easy to use program. The changes they've made are small allowing you as a free user to download two updates so once a month make sure this box is ticked and allow it to run you'll have a little icon in your system tray when you've got all your drivers updated you can untick this and that really is it it's simple to use it's easy to use and you still get your free drivers if you want more information check out my blog which is free pc security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk